Prince George celebrated his fifth birthday this month. And we celebrated American Independence Day by looking at some US coinage. And of course, football fever swept across the nation as England were in the World Cup semi-finals for the first time in 28 years. I'm Yasmin. And I'm Rachel, and this is our video newsletter for July. So I think we have to start by saying a massive happy birthday to Prince George. Mm -hmm. Five years old already and oh my god how cute is he? Oh it's amazing. Did you see the picture that was released? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's lovely. Um, and obviously as we already know there was a brand new five pound coin mm -hmm. um, issued for his birthday. It was actually released at the beginning of the year and it was in the annual mm -hmm. coin set but it's officially released for his birthday this month. Um, I've actually got it here which if I just quickly show you it's a brand new St. George and the Dragon design, mm -hmm. so like a modern interpretation, and it's been designed by Jody Clark, and he is the same person that designs um, the, the new Queen's portrait. It's not too new anymore, but you know. It's a really well-known designer, um, and yeah. a lovely design, as you say. It's a, a modern interpretation of a really well-known George and the Dragon design. Yeah. And in fact, we do have an older version. This coin came out in, was it 1951? 1951, yes, so this is a five shilling coin. And actually, I think what we're trying to say is why it's this one's so important is because this is the first St. George and the Dragon design, so a new mm. design, on a base metal coin since this coin, which was over, over 60, 60 years, years. Ago. Yeah. So it's pretty cool, I think. Very unique yeah. and, you know, a perfect way to commemorate our future king's fifth birthday. Yeah, and I think, um, as we know, Prince George is from his mum, Kate. Mm -hmm. She says he likes playing with swords and guns and stuff in the garden, so I think he'll love that design. Oh, definitely. Yeah. Do you think he'd like it as a birthday present? Yeah, he's probably already got one, but yeah. yeah. <laughs> So July the 4th was American Independence Day and we celebrated by putting together a really interesting blog and it had five fun facts about US coinage. So I don't know about you but I really found it interesting to hear about the reverses of US coins because I don't know if you knew this but the heads are actually upside down. Yeah, I, d I know. It's, uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know why we do it the other way. I don't mm. So I think it was to distinguish between medals and coins for US coins, but um, yeah, very interesting. So if you wanted to hear some more fun facts, head over to our blog and you can read about them there. Yeah, and on US coins, we mm. actually released a new blog um, about, I mean, it's not a new story or anything like that, but it's the US state quarters. Mm -hmm. um, and it's like the most collected coin series mm. in US history. Yeah, I think half of Americans collect yeah. them, is it? Yeah, so it's a lot of people collecting and um, yeah, so we've just done a quick blog just about it because I think it's not just UK coins that are interesting. I mean, obviously no. I know we love them because we can, you know, relate to them and stuff like that, but it's so interesting to see what other countries do mm -hmm. and, you know, halfway across the world, yeah. what they're doing as well with their coins. Um, it's a great collection, there's 56 coins mm -hmm. in total, so five are released every year. Uh, over a 10 year period and then the final year there were six coins that were released yeah. there. Um, it's quite interesting actually because there was quite a few um, of you that were saying that you've collected them or you're, you've got mm -hmm. half of them, maybe you've been on holiday and you've managed to get hold of some but I think that's great that oh, people are collecting yeah. not just UK coins, I think that's really really interesting. Yeah. So July seemed to be dominated by the World Cup and how far England got I mean, they were incredible, really. It was amazing. Um, and I wasn't interested in football, I don't think you, you no, were. No, I was. <laughs> by the end of it, we were like, oh my God, yes, England to win. I'm absolutely gripped by but, it. Um, I mean, it's, it's so hard, isn't it, to resist the frenzy of football when we actually got through to the semi finals. So yeah. they did an amazing job. Um, so, as you probably know, there were some two rubles mm -hmm. coins. I think that's how you say it. Yeah. So, obviously, these are circulating coins in Russia. Um, that they issued to celebrate them hosting the World Cup. Mm -hmm. um, now, 25 rubles. It's about 30p in 30 English p. money. Yeah. yeah. Not, not very much. So we were able to get hold of um, some of them from um, Russia. Mm -hmm. And we want to know, if any of you were lucky enough to go to Russia, did you see them in your mm -hmm. change? Because I think they released quite a lot over there in Russia. Yeah. But, um, some obviously. people were saying they were quite hard to get hold of yeah. as well, though. I guess they were so popular. Um, but they had the World Cup emblem and the World Cup um, trophy on them as well, so really nice way to celebrate the 2018 yeah. uh, World Cup. And obviously where we were getting so crazy about England mm -hmm. being in the World Cup, the Royal Mint actually did something. 
they um, reissued the line of England five pound coin, mm -hmm. um, but with the 2018 date, and they only had it available to order for four weeks. We've still got some uh, on our website, mm -hmm. so head over there if you want to have a look. 2018 line of England five pound coin. Um, the last day to order is today. Is I it? think so. Yeah. Last day to order today. So if you want be one, quick. Um, yeah, be quick. So we've updated our 2017 Mintages blog um, to let you know about some of the 50 EP Mintages um, and actually the fact that Sir Isaac Newton has come into the ranks um, in second place and knocked Jemima Puddle Duck down the ranks. So mm. it's a bit of a shuffle going on there now. Yeah, um, I mean Kew Gardens still on top, there's still mm. only 210,000 of them and they're extremely hard to find in your change. Um, but yeah, Isaac Newton is second rarest 50 p at the moment, obviously excluding the Olympic 50 p's. Mm. Um, the interesting thing is that we still have Isaac Newton 50p's in certified brilliant uncirculated condition available on the website at 3 dollars So if you do want one in better condition than one that you would find in your change, just head over there because you can guarantee one now before they become the next Jemima yeah. Puddle Down. Mm. Um, yeah, the 2017 figures for Beatrix Potter 50p's, they were very high, weren't yeah, they? Especially Peter Rabbit. So Peter Rabbit is. Um, well into the 19 million, is that right? Yeah, I think it's something like yeah. that. Um, so, if you haven't found one yet, just you will. Mm -hmm. Just don't worry, you will find. And I think the other, the other characters as well, they're definitely out there. We yeah. have seen quite a lot of people finding them in their mm -hmm. change now. Um, what you might have noticed from that blog, though, is 2017 two pound mm -hmm. coins. We don't know anyone that's found them. No, we change. haven't found any either. We haven't found any. Um, and the mintage figures haven't actually been released yet, so... Um, We're confident that they will mm -hmm. eventually enter circulation. But, but it's just, they're not there yet as far as we're aware. Yeah. Um, so yeah, hope you enjoyed that vlog. And if you just look in to see where your coins in your collection rank mm -hmm. now, just go and head over there and you can see all the information in one place. So last month we celebrated the £2 coins 20th anniversary and this was actually the bimetallic £2 but of course we've got to think about the commemorative £2 coins that were released before that and there were seven in total weren't there? Yeah, so the first one was issued in 1986 and that was issued um, to celebrate the 1986 Commonwealth Games. Mm -hmm. um, now these coins, they're not in circulation and I guess in our lifetime they haven't been in circulation. No. Um, so we've never seen them in our change. So when they do turn up, bit, like some people have them, you know, maybe they've been handed down mm -hmm. from their parents or grandparents, and they are really interesting mm -hmm. coins. Something special, isn't it? About yeah, the it's just a solid um, two pound coin, basically. And mm -hmm. I think it just makes our new two pound coins the fact that they're bimetallic. And it was actually the first bimetallic was, two yeah. pound coin. Mm -hmm. um, it just makes the whole two pound anniversary just really interesting. Definitely. Um, yeah. So thanks for watching today. Um, I think we're so excited to enter August, mm -hmm. which is tomorrow actually. We've got the brand new Paddington 50p that will be released um, and also the RAF CK. Mm -hmm. So we're looking forward to see those in our change. So keep up to date with everything that you need to know, any new stories, any new blogs. Um, head over to changedecker.org and you'll find everything you need for your collecting needs there. And of course, tune in for our next month's newsletter when we'll be catching up on some of those coins and everything that's happened in August.